Hello, my name is Mrs Wheeler. I'm going to be talking to you about early reading skills. Reading is absolutely vital. It paves the way for success in school and really helps your child to become uh, motivated and to build self-confidence. People read for many reasons. Um, it can be for pleasure and interest. Um, it can be to obtain information. Um, that will help us to make choices and decisions about something. We also learn, want to learn all about the world and also helps us to keep in touch with our friends and family. Parents often ask me how they can help their child to become reception ready. Um, one of the things that I say would be really helpful for you to do is to help them with becoming ready with, for reading when they start in the session. Um, reading aloud to your child is the best way for them to become interested in reading. Um, before long, they'll grow um, to love stories and books and eventually they'll want to read them all on their own. As a parent, you're your child's first and most important teacher. Um, and when you help your child to learn to read, you're opening the door to a world of books and learning for them. You might now be wondering, how else can you help your child to be ready for reading when they start in reception? One way is through speaking and listening. Oral language is the foundation for reading and speaking and listening are a child's first introduction to language. Talking and singing teach your child the sounds of language, making it easy for him or her to then learn how to read. So examples of what you could do would be to tell stories about yourself and your family and your friends. It could be then to talk about your feelings and that then helps your child um, to understand what different emotions are and encourage them to talk about their feelings. Um, answer questions about how they might be feeling or how someone else might be feeling. You can ask them about their day, which games have they played or activities they might have done at nursery or with their friends. Singing songs and nursery rhymes together. This is really fantastic at helping them to build with rhyme as this is the beginning phase of helping them with the different sounds they need in their reading. And build on your child's vocabulary by talking about really interesting objects that you see. So this might be an aeroplane that you see in the sky. And say, look at that white aeroplane flying through the fluffy clouds. Can you see the wings on the aeroplane? What are the wings helping the aeroplane to do? Try and make reading fun. Different ways that you can do this with your child could be to use different voices and use puppets to act out the story. So with the three little pigs and the wolf, you could use that and make the characters come alive, which makes it far more exciting and helps your child to visualise what's happening in the story and to understand emotions. Rereading your child's favourite story over and over again. Yes, it does feel very repetitive for us as adults, but it really helps to embed the story for your child and they will enjoy having the, repeat, the repeated phrases and that they will possibly want to then join in themselves as they'll then know what's going to happen next. Read a variation of books, non-fiction, poetry, Often something your child is interested in really helps too, because that helps to capture their interest. And trying to sit together just for that short amount of time every day, maybe a special time that you have at the same time every day in a comfortable place that makes your child feel happy and secure. Ask your child to look at the pictures whenever you're looking at a book. You could do this before you even read any of the words. Ask them to talk about what they can see. 
this is the most important thing for your child to be able to do first before they start reading any words because it shows that they have the language to explain what they're reading and to show they've got some understanding. You can ask them questions about the book. What might happen next? How does the character feel when you're thinking about different emotions? You could even mention the written words. You can talk about how they're going from left to right. You can talk about how they've got spaces in between each words. You could ask your child, can they find the sound that's in their name? Um, all of this is really going to help them gain more awareness of reading. To listen and participate with enthusiasm as well. Praise your child if they get involved, if they make comments about the book, because the more you enjoy the reading experience, the more your child is going to enjoy it too. You could also do many other different daily uh, reading activities. It's not just through doing it through books. It's also through different activities that you can do around your home or when you're out and about. So this could be reading food recipes, looking at different labels or reading different instructions of how to play a game. Getting your child involved in this is going to show them it can open up so many things for them to do when they can actually read some of those words and understand that they're teaching them something. When you're out and about, reading the traffic signs, looking at the signs in shops or when they're going to a zoo, and the pride that your child will feel when they realise that they can read that all on their own and they know what it means, they can tell you. It's really going to give them that confidence. To understand that you can also find information through looking on a computer or searching on your phone, looking in dictionaries um, and in cookbooks too, and that once you've found that information, you can do something with it. Also helping them to read cards, um, emails or even letters that you've received from different family or friends. Um, it helps them to feel that it's even more special, that you can then share that experience together. And playing simple phonics games. This could be rhyming games, it could be even I spy when you're in the car. Anything like this helps your child to just become more aware using their vocabulary all the time. So using all the activities that I've talked about are really going to help your child to help them to be more prepared when they start and it'll help them to really develop their vocabulary um, and they'll even have more of an awareness of the world around them and this will help them when they then start with us at Bounster Prep.